Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And it is time to take on the new uh, Tempered Edge EX2, but not with the two new units. We don't have Guy, we don't have Velzard. This is, this is my main account now, not the uh, account that I borrowed. So I don't have them because I didn't summon for them, apart from the two free multis, which uh, I recorded but didn't post, but they were trash. So whatever you just know that they were trash they were awful so we're going to go into tempered edge now with this team and this footage is pre-recorded i didn't know how many takes it would um didn't know how many takes it would take uh but i think it only took twice which means that you can 100 percent brute force your way through this I don't know if EX3 you can be, you're going to be able to brute force it, but I don't really see a particular reason why you shouldn't. Um, this team just, it does a lot of damage, and, you know, AoE damage is nice. They don't do that much, even with Guy's debuff, in effect. It's like, it's 15% is not 50% space boost, and 50% attack boost, and 50% crit, and it's just, it's not, it doesn't compare, really. So, let's go ahead and start this up. This is the team we're running, obviously, before we... Okay, we'll pause this. Um, Shuna, orb change. Rimuru, orb change. Carrion, orb change. We have a whole bunch of orb changers to make blues to get as many stacks of Eldor as we can so we can make Milim murder things. Now let's begin. So, again, like, I did this with the Velzar team. Milim still single targeted and killed multiple people like Velzard is cool and all didn't really bring too much to that fight uh this fight we know exactly what the space team is about like we know what Milim does we know what hero and carry and do together shuna's here with the boost we've got changes we've got you know very very good things happen here um we have an interesting hand but we're pretty much just going to run with it. So turn one, you are binded in. So whatever people you want in the front line for two turns, you're going to have to bring them in here. Because there will be no swapping once our attacks are done. So there's wind magic attack up. Here's the bind. So we cannot swap out. And they do hit reasonably hard. Remember, we have type advantage, and we're still taking a decent chunk. And we're stuck here now for two turns. So And we have no healer. I think... I think the Velzar team we brought Valentine, I think. So here, we're going to send these oranges because we're going to pray that we can get a good orb change hand and we can get Veldora online. So let's do that. Now every orb is giving us 50% extra skill points. And we're just going to send Carrion. This is the last turn of Bind. And we're going to target Valentine. Valentine is the primary problem on this team because she has that massive 40% heal that she can give to anybody. Most of these units, I think besides Milim, have an, their own like 10% heal, but then when you combine that 10 with Valentine's 40, and all the damage you've done so far has just been completely negated almost, it's not fun. So I recommend killing her first, that way you don't have a massive heal to deal with. So right here, we've you know used a full orb change right here, um, we're gonna send it all on Valentine. I'm kind of surprised I didn't use the rewind, but I guess we're gonna save that for next turn once we, I guess, have a good hand of Milim here as well. So, we do a lot of, well, not a lot, but we do some damage to her. <clears throat> we do have Carrion's ult, though, which is cool. I think we hold that for, yeah, I think we do hold on to that, because I'm not ready to nuke yet. Because if we try to nuke here, she wouldn't die, and then she would just heal herself up. And it'd be like we didn't even nuke at all, so there's no point. So here, what I'm contemplating is how I want to get this to be an entire hand of blue. So I'm going to steal with Rimuru and make one of his blue. And then I can bring Shuna in for Rimuru. Or Carrion. Carrion, because that'll pull the other blue in. There we go. And then we can use her orb change, six hand of blue, and then we can swap her out, him out, him out for Milim, get the rewind active, and then we can start stacking with Veldora again on Milim now. And then we're going to send this other six card on Valentine. 
We're not going to use any other buffs because, again, I do want to save those. This fight does go on for a while, though. It's like nine turns or something because we pretty much have to just single target everybody. So 11,000 damage there. The rewind kicks in. And now we have her ult. We have a double stack of Eldora, which we're going to use now, because she's the primary nuker, and I want her to do as much damage as possible. And I don't want any of these orbs to go to waste, as far as protection GH is concerned, because I can't swap Carrion back in. So here, I think we're just going to go for points. Or hand clearing. So I think we're going to send probably the Shunas. Mm, or we're going to send the nerfed oranges. Okay, well, that's fine. Valentine's going to heal here, though. So there's defense up, there's a Valentine alt on Shuna. It hurts quite a bit, but we'll be okay. Oh, we didn't, oh, she didn't heal, okay. So here, we have 192 points, so we're pretty much ready to nuke. So let's go ahead and use the alt boost from Shuna. And then we can send her away for Carrion, and then we can use the rest of the buffs, most of them. So let's use the space, let's use the crit. And then let's use the crit buff, so we can hold on to the Drago from when we need to nuke Dino down. That's why I held on to it. So here, Valentine's roughly half. So I'm fairly confident between triple alts, we can kill her, and then we can send Milam on Milam and get her out of here. So obviously, right here, we probably could have just sent the two orbs and killed Val. So 111, 100, yeah, 111 was a lot of overkill. But now... We've taken out a good chunk of Dino's health, and Milam didn't die. <laughs> Unfortunate. So I, we should have probably targeted Milam with those other two blues. Oh well. It still works in our favor. Dino has an ult. It's not great. We have this entire hand of Carrion, though. So we're going to pray that he can kill Milam right here. And that scared me. And the guard. Does the, two, the 150 does kill Milam, so we just have to take this ult right here. Milam thankfully survives. But Dino only attacks once, right? So he doesn't do too much damage now. I'm fairly confident that we can live, so let's just work on getting Milam's ult here. And... Uh, let's Okay, we're going to orb change here. Alright, we're going to go for the full six, huh? Okay. So I swap carrying out because he has no orbs. And then use the greens. Okay, so here we go. And I think, yeah, we'll hold on to that. Pop, 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 pop. That gets us Milam's alt. And 248 points. And then another counter comes in. 7,000 damage each. Pretty good. 200% does 7,500 because he guarded. But now we have an alt. We have... The, all the points that we need to buff again. So another stack of Veldora. This fight's over, right? We're just going to nuke the crap out of him. He has red health. There's no way he's her surviving this turn. So space, Drago, crit. We can bring in Shuna for funsies. Uh, it doesn't really matter who we swap out, <laughs> as long as it's not Milim. All right, alt boost. And then we just send the alt. So... You don't need the new space team. In fact, I don't really know what the space new space team does here as far as making this easier. This was pretty straightforward. Space team goes burr. Milam does big damage. But yeah, that's uh, that's EX2 Tempered Edge without Guy and Belzard. Honestly, probably a hell of a lot easier. Um, we did get a few of the missions done as well, because that was our first clear on my account. And we also, because of all the orb changing we did and all the orb buffing we did, that also got us that extra mission for, what, like, six magic changing abilities in one fight. So, no deaths, still need a full combo of greens, still need two with four stars, still need misery in here, still need a full hand of physical, or a full physical team. But we were able to get the magic clearing, and then with space characters and all battle slots, we just need to swap out... Raymaru and um, uh, Raymaru and Shuna. So we don't really have an alt booster at that point. Because, yeah, Space doesn't have an alt booster by, by that. That'll be another mission. But yeah, that's Tempered Edge without the new units. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Take it easy.
and I'll see you later.